my lovelies. First things first, apologise about the wet hair, I've just gotten out of the bath after doing a park run. Today's video is going to be about the classics that I want to read in 2019. At the moment I'm reading a lot of YA literature and I'm absolutely loving it, but as a literature student I feel like I'm neglecting the classics. At university we tend to be given classics that are classics for more technical reasons, not because of the storyline and the characters are great. So I feel like university has tainted my view on classical literature by giving me the more dull ones to read. So I want to fix that by giving myself a list of classics that I want to read this year. The first classic I want to read is Emma by Jane Austen. This is a book that was meant to be on our reading list and we should have read for critical practice, which is a dull compulsory module. So I had other priorities and didn't end up getting around to reading this. Although I have it on good authority of one of my friends, Ellie, who says it's a brilliant book. It is about Emma Woodhouse, who is a clever, rich girl who likes matchmaking all her friends together, who has, says she has no interest in marriage, but a love plot unravels. This is a book that I was really excited to read, but I just never got round to it, which is the way university goes some days. You've got to prioritise your reading. So this is my priority book to read this year. The next classic I really want to read is more of a modern classic, and it is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Now, me and my mum really enjoyed the show, the HBO TV show of The Handmaid's Tale that's on at the moment. And because Margaret Atwood is writing up the follow-up book to this, set ten years after the events of this book, The Testaments, which will be released this year, there's been a lot of talk about The Handmaid's Tale recently, and it's intrigued me so much that I want to read it. What it basically is, it's the Republic of Gilead, um, in a world where people are becoming infertile so people who are able to have children are rounded up to become handmaids and given to other couples of high status to breed and if they don't do so they will be hanged so it's very post-apocalyptic but i also feel like some of the themes in it especially from watching the show are things that can be relevant to now and I inferred that this is also a, has an unusual stream of consciousness style, so I feel like watching the TV show and knowing what happens with that isn't actually going to disrupt my reading experience of this book. The next in my priority classics for this year is The Killing Mockingbird by Harper Lee, and I feel like this is probably the ultimate classics when it comes to literature. It is a book that's been on my shelf for years, and I've just never got round to reading. I know a little bit about the storyline, but I don't know how it's going to go because I've only ever seen little bits of the very classic movie. It is told through the eyes of the children's scout and Jim Finch, as their father is defending a black man for the rape of a white woman. So I know the themes, what the themes are going to be going into this and, and it's something I'm really excited to get reading. And I feel like it's going to be a very impactful book. The next book in the classics I want to read this year is A Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, another book that has been on my shelf for years and I did try to read this when I was younger but I just don't think I had the critical reading skills to do so back then, especially with my eyes being so bad. But Dorian Gray is a character I've seen many, many times in film and TV adaptations, my favourite being Penny Dreadful, the TV series. So I want to get back to the roots of this gothic hero to see where it all comes from. And I feel like I really need to read an Oscar Wilde book this year because Oscar Wilde is some of the, one of the most quotable people out there and I haven't actually read any of his full works apart from the odd poem. So this is the year I shall do that. The story follows Dorian Gray who exchanges his soul for eternal beauty and youth. The final book I want to read this year is Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery and it's a children's classics book. I was given this beautiful set of Oxford children's classics years ago and I've only read through so many of them so I feel like I need to finish them now. And also Adam of Green Gables is a character that's popping up I think because of a Netflix adaptation so I'm seeing Anne of Green Gables related stuff all over the internet and I want to find out about the story. It is about a girl called called Anne, who is an orphan and is adopted into a family who actually wanted a boy, not a girl, to help them with on, help them on the Green Gables farm. I'm also drawn to this book because my man's house is actually called the Gables, but I wanted just wanted something, something else, something different from the things I usually pick up to read. But the one thing about Oxford classics is the pages are so white. I usually lend myself towards Penguin classics because I can't read very well off Oxford classics because I need blue glasses to read which I might go into in a different video.
So those are the classic literature books I want to read this year. As I've said, I'm absolutely in loving YA books right now. I'm on a complete reading high, especially with fantasy. But I feel like I am neglecting the thing that my degree is based around. So I've made this list and I definitely want to try and get through at least three of them and the other two would be great.